Now, sports coverage in the panhandle spirit with Kale Steen. Good evening, sports fans. After weather wreaked havoc in Arlington last night in the Rangers, game one win over Detroit in the ALCS. Major League Baseball decided not to mess with Mother, Mother Nature for game two tonight. The Rangers and Tigers will play Monday afternoon with the teams losing their travel day and playing game three in Detroit as scheduled on Tuesday. I think the, the one thing we're concerned about is the integrity of the game and, and not have put either team in a... Well, we went to black on that. Uh, hopefully we can get something to pop up here in just a minute. That was Nolan Ryan talking. Uh, like I said, the game tomorrow at 3:19 in the NLCS, the Brewers get a huge win. Ryan Braun is a big game. They beat rival St. Louis nine to six. The Brewers lead that series one nil. Let's go to some football. Al Davis, the monuments flying around football today. Special tributes for him. Special moment in Houston as they play in the Texans. We pick it up second quarter. Texas up seven six. Matt Schaub rolling off play action, going downfield. Finding a wide open Joel Dreesen, 56 yards, Texans 14 to 6. But right before half, Jason Cable catches the Texans in a blitz to Darius Hayward Bay, and he makes him pay. Sheds a tackler, finds pay dirt. I'm out of cliches. Oakland only down by two. Second half, Raiders dominating. Cable steps up in the pocket, gets a dart to Chad Shillings. Raiders go up 22 17. We move to late fourth quarter, 30 seconds to play. Texans down five. Schaub rolls. Desperation heave. Can he get it downfield? Yes. There's Dreesen's inside the five. Texans with a chance. Last play of the game. Seven seconds. Schaub rolls. Steps up in the pocket looking for Jacoby Jones, but he finds Michael Huff, and it's a pick, and the Raiders get a win for Al Davis. Your final 25 to 20 in a very emotional game. Talk some racing to the Sprint Cup race at Kansas, the fourth race in the chase. Jimmy Johnson looking impressive with 23 laps to go. He passes Brad Keselowski for the lead and went dominate from there. Now three laps left. Jeff Gordon, his car, ooh, not so good. That would blow up. Bad day for Gordon. Then on the restart, Jimmy continuing his dominance to take the checkered flag. He moves to third in the point standings while Carl Edwards, who finished fifth, takes the top spot. Um, very proud to um, have won 55 races in Ty Rusty Wallace. That is a, a huge, huge honor. Um, very proud too to uh, win Rick his 199th win for Hendrick Motorsports. I cannot thank my guys enough for for sticking with it and working hard the whole day. I cannot believe we finished fifth. It feels like a win. I mean that's uh, that's the best we've done with the worst, uh, you know, the, the the most we've done with a car that wasn't capable of winning ever. So um, I'm really proud of my guys. So here's how they stack up. There's Kevin Harvick right behind Edwards. There's Jimmy, Brad Keselowski not far behind. The fifth race in the chase is next Saturday night right here on the Circle 7 at Charlotte. Boot and Buffs at home taking on seventh-ranked Midwestern. There's Coach Butch Lawfer early on. The Mustangs, Chris Dyer, going to send one in. But watch Sebastian Furness, the goalie for the Buffs. Hey, making a nice play on his knees. Stopping it, no score. Later, the Buffs with a chance after the shot deflected. Rodrigo Mooring with another shot on goal for the Buffs. But saved by Midwestern. But good news, the Buffs stunned. Midwestern, the seventh ranked Mustangs, your final three to two. Now, the WT women were supposed to play Abilene Christian today, but the game was canceled due to weather. Out at Ross Rogers, Sue Sizemore wins the Amarillo Women's Golf Association Club Championship for the third straight year. Congratulations to her, and don't forget tomorrow, 11.45, the WT Coaches Luncheon at the Big Texan. Lindsay, I'm sure they're going to have a lot of good stuff to talk about. Coach Clark will get in that big win yesterday. Mm -hmm. Big game with Abilene Christian this Saturday. So, yeah, huge well, weekend yeah. for the Buffs. Nice. Yeah. And the Cowboys, they're back next yeah, weekend. Yeah, bye right? week. Thanks for mentioning that. I should have said no. something. Next. <laughs> the Cowboys had a bye week, and they get the Patriots. Oh, that's Next good. Sunday, wow. 3 o'clock. Jeez. Yeah. I know. Good luck. I know. Keep your fingers crossed. That's right. That's right. <laughs> well, Steve's in next with one last check of your forecast. Stay with us.